So, writing with Sam here, and today I'm gonna teach you how I clean my silk chain. So, what's a silk motorcycle chain? It's basically a regular chain with the silk rings in place. The silk rings help keep the dirt and grime from the pin and the solid bushing where individual parts of the chains are connected, as well as keeping the manufacturer grease in. This in turn will help the chain last longer compared to regular chains. So now, to show you what I use to clean my chain. So this is the T-Rock snap jack which I use to prop the bike up during my chain maintenance. And given inside will be a strap for you to lock up the front brakes to prevent the bike from moving when you're trying to prop the bike up. Now that it's done, I'll show you. It's firmly in place, it's not gonna move. And now it's time to prop the bike up with the snap jack. So, to prop the bike up, you place the rubber end on the swing arm of the bike and lock it up to the ground and you just press it in. Make sure not to pinch your skin when you're snapping the snap jack on. And once it's done, you can see here, the wheels are free to move. And don't worry about the side stem breaking apart because my friend did it on a CBR600 and it's fine. So, as you can see here, I use WD-40 to clean my chain. You can use any form of chain cleaner or kerosene to clean your chain as well. First, I will spray the WD-40 on a cloth and give it a good wipe down like you can see here. I do not spray WD-40 directly as I do not want any WD-40 to seep into the chain links and break down the grease already inside the chain. For the same reason why I do not use a brush to brush it down because it's a silk ring, no dirt and grime will enter deep enough that I have to brush it down with a brush and I do not want to run the risk of damaging the silk rings. But if you guys are re using regular stock chains without any silk rings, feel free to spray WD-40 all over the chain to make sure all the dirt and grimes are out before lubing your chain and use a brush if you need to but for a silk ring i prefer to just wipe it down with a cloth and wd-40 so after you're done cleaning the chain use a clean cloth and wipe down the remaining kerosene wd-40 or any chain cleaner you have before spraying the loop So this is what your chain should look like after a good chain cleaning, bright shiny, looks as good as new. So I personally prefer chain wax over regular chain loop because I do not want to have any chain loop all over the rims when I ride. Chain wax will tacky up, helping keep the loop in place when I'm riding. Be sure to let the chain wax rest on the chain for at least 15 to 20 minutes as it takes time for the chain wax to tacky up after the application itself. So, always shake the bottle before you use the chain loop. It's pretty standard procedure right there. So, this is where you should be concentrating your lubing at. It's where the chain interlock each other where the silk rings are at. So some people prefer doing the lubing of the chain at the sprocket area but I prefer doing it at the bottom of the drive chain as I do not want any excessive chain loop around my sprocket area because excessive chain loop can attract dirt and grime and I prefer to keep the area clean of any dirt. And after you are done, it's best you wipe down lightly the extra loop you have on the chain to keep the dirt and grime away from the chain itself. So, this is how a proper maintained chain should look like, as good as new from the box itself. There shouldn't be any excessive chain loop lying around the chain or the sprocket area, because excessive chain loop, like I say, will attract dirt and grime. And that's all for today, and I hope you like the video, and do subscribe to the channel and comment on what you like to see more from my channel. And I hope you like this video for today, and that's all for today, folks. Bye!